on my channel if you're new to this channel if you never really seen my videos before what's up make sure you join us again and hit that subscribe button because nessa gang is the littlest gang of all gangs today is a different kind of video because i don't normally do makeup tutorials but i went shopping i went to ulta the other day and i was like yo i have to just dive into this and create a look for y'all but before we begin make sure you give this video a big thumbs up but yeah i'm gonna stop talking and we gonna get into the tutorial okay so this is the bag that i got from ulta and i got about i don't even know how many things i got let me check let me count them one two three four so i got four things but you know if you are into makeup that four things is a lot i got this primer i've actually never ever ever used a primer i always just use moisturizer and i was like maybe primer will make a difference you know what i'm saying so i have high hopes the workers were begging me to buy this primer it's by pure hopefully it works i also got this foundation stick for a cream contour for concealer she gave me a nars one i have no idea where my mac lip gloss is so i went to go buy another different one this one's by buxom it's like a nude let's just get into it so I'm about to put on this primer I cleaned all of my makeup brushes last night so you know it's real this is so many makeup brushes I can't believe I was considering buying more I don't know how to use a primer so I'm just gonna rub it with my hands Ooh, I like the feeling of it my face feels so buttery smooth Ooh. It says that I gotta let it dry, so while I'm letting it dry, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. But that takes too long, so let me just do this magic trick real quick. Real quick. Real quick. And we're back. <laughs> so I went to do my eyebrows off camera. I actually did it on my Insta story, so let me know if you saw that. So I went ahead and used the concealer and boo-boo. I am in love. Where have you been all my life? They're perfect to clean up my eyebrows, but I'm not so sure if it's gonna be light enough for my under eyes, but we're gonna make it. Do what it do. I haven't done makeup so long, I don't even know what to do first. Maybe I should actually do my eyeshadow first. I'm gonna do my eyes first. I'm gonna put the concealer on. I was looking on Instagram and I saw a whole bunch of makeup tutorials and that actually inspired me to do some makeup finally. Now I'm gonna use this Real Technique Real Techniques brush to pat on some translucent powder to set it. Okay, first of all, I just wanna say that I love Morphe brushes, okay? So if you guys wanna sponsor me, email me this is morphe's m433 brush so i'm just gonna take a light peachy color for my transition color today i'm gonna try to go all out this that way the shadow who you fuck all of y'all like a who you giving a bar since the tea i ain't going because i skate with the ice let me zoom in i feel like y'all so far away from me let me take this darker orange and put it in my crease. I really hate eyeshadow because you really have to take your time with it. You really got to make sure it's blended and this whole patience thing I'm getting used to. Now I'm going to take some concealer and clean it up. I'm not going to use the NARS one because I have a little bit left of this IT one. And I cut it open because it's very sad that it's almost gone. I tried it on my hand the other day and it wasn't really pigmented so I might have to do a couple layers
First of all, I just want to say that it is so hard to get them perfect. I will never buy this again. I put about five layers and it looks crusty, musty, dusty, but we're going to try to work with it. So now we're about to work on the eyelashes. So today I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex. Hold up. I thought I was putting on glitter. All right, false alarm, we're putting the glitter on. So I'm gonna take Duo's white eyelash glue and apply it to the parts that I set with concealer earlier. Now I'm gonna use the NYX glitter. You gotta work fast so it doesn't dry. So while I'm letting the eyelash glue dry a little bit on the eyelashes before I apply them, I'm gonna try to take off all of the glitter that flew onto my face. Okay, finally done with the lashes. Don't ask me where I got these lashes because I have no idea, but I know that they are popping. I had them for about two months now. So I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Concealer in Peach. Let me try to put some green on this pimple. I'm gonna take my MAC foundation in NC30 and just dot that. Ooh, I put way too much. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques to the Real Technique brush to blend it first, and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender. Oh my gosh, the sunlight is ruining my video. To make sure it's all the way blended, I use the bottom of a little sponge. I got this from Forever 21. I love their sponges. Now, let me use this NARS concealer, girl. I'm excited. Okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Shorty working out also knows what she's doing. Maybe, maybe. Cause once I blend this out, it might be a little too dark. I don't know y'all I feel like it's not light enough what do you guys think yeah y'all I'm not pleased with how light this is I might have to go a little bit lighter I'm gonna have to return it oh I hate returning stuff it's so much work I love the consistency of the NARS it blends so beautifully so now I'm gonna use the pure 4-in-1 foundation stick as my cream contour so perfect I don't even know how much this cost but it was worth it I might start doing my makeup more often okay I really suck at contouring my cheeks I'm gonna be 100 with you guys but I've been watching a lot of tutorials lately so hopefully I can finish all right let me go back in with this clean sponge and blend that out so now that I feel like everything is pretty much blended, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my powder. I'm using the Airspun Translucent Powder, which is very popular. I use the Wet Damp Sponge because I just feel like it just packs on better. When you put on your powder, you have to make sure it's even. If not, it's gonna look patchy when you brush it off. If you're contouring your nose, make sure when you put the powder on, you put it in a really tiny, precise line because that's going to make a big difference as well. So while I'm 
baking, I'm going to take a selfie. Now I'm gonna go get my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit to set the contour. So I'm using my Morphe blush palette. I'm gonna be using this one. Okay, now I need the highlighter. So I'm just gonna actually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Chop. Moon Child palette. I like to apply my highlighter with this Real Technique brush because it's really pigmented. Yes, girl. Woo! I only put a little bit of highlight on the bridge of my nose because I feel like it's just too much when you put it all the way down. So I literally make an explanation. Ex Exclamation point. Make sure, make sure, make sure you put some highlight in the corners of your eyes. I'm gonna use my Morphe brush, and this don't have a number either, but I'm gonna use the same highlighter palette. I'm gonna use Star. If you're watching this tutorial, you probably watch other tutorials and you know this is important. Yes, girl, you slaying. That's the Vanessa that I know. I'm gonna take this MAC lipstick in Margarita. It looks so cute, girl. But I have to use the lip gloss that I got from Ulta. I'm just gonna water it down a little bit with this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Voila, I'm done. Let me know what you think. Go to the comments right now and rate it 1 out of 10. I like how the eyeliner isn't so white. It's more of a creamy color. If you like this tutorial, make sure you let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think that I suck and I should just stick to pranks and story times and all that stuff. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate everybody who supports me. Y'all are the ones that keep me going. But before this video is over, I have to give you guys my shout out. Today's shout out goes to Ari underscore reggaetoncita. Thank you so much, Ari. I love you so much. If you guys want a shout out, all you guys have to do is go to my Instagram, go to my last post, and comment something nice. Spam Ness again, whatever you want. Make yourself notice. I will find you and I will shout you out. That's the end of today's video. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys have post notifications on so you guys can see my next video. And yeah, bye. Mwah.